behind. Right about here would be lane two. Lane one is this deep. Yeah. And when was the horses have not been on this area? About four weeks. Four weeks to horses not run on lane one. And that is an in, prep in preparation for the big day Sunday? That's right. Well, not only do we wait that long, but we have five lanes. So every week we switch the temporary rail. So to get back on the same lane, it usually takes four or five weeks. But the first, but lane one has, is untouchable. We haven't, we haven't run here since the, uh, since the mile. Well, it's an irrigation system. It's, it's pretty much all automated now. It's run by a computer. So we can water certain areas of the track and less and, and some more than others because uh, some areas may not uh, drain as much or, or tend to hold water more. Uh, there's about 140. 140 individual yeah. Yeah. Irriga irrigation, what are they called? Heads. Irrigation heads, amazing. And they will run, will they run all night? Like no, the no, no. They, but when we water generally during the, uh, a day of races, we will probably water an area for about 10 minutes. Well, you water the turf course and it's windy out. The irrigation doesn't always go where you want it to. So if the wind is blowing out of the northwest, it'll tend to blow the water that way. And so there may be areas where it doesn't get watered as much, or there may be areas where it gets watered more. Right. So that's another reason why you always want to water at nighttime in hopes of having the least amount of wind. Yeah, usually this time of year the grass is not growing as much, so we mow it obviously less in the summertime. We would mow, mow it every week, and we would mow it down to four and a half inches. Four and a half inches and is, then, is your... Yeah, generally by the weekend, you're looking, you know, it's back up to around six inches. Plush, plush uh, grass. Yeah, no divots, huh? Yeah, no divots. I'm sure there will be some Sunday after they run off. Well, you said that the, the sprinters tend to cut, cut um, yeah, they dig it up more? Yeah, especially on a turn. Now, this time of year, you'll probably use a faster release fertilizer, because you want the grass to grow quicker. Right. So yeah, you do use uh, different uh, fertilizers. So the grass gets disease and fungus, and how can, does that happen often? And how does that happen? Uh, it can happen from the winter. It can happen from the snow. It can happen with too much humidity, too much water. Well, there are a lot of variables. You can get uh, pest or uh, some kind of a pest in it. There's Kentucky bluegrass. What's the next two things? Uh, rye, rye grass. Rye grass. And some fescue. So this is not a uniform grass, it's a mixture of three? Yeah, it's a mixture. Yeah, it's a special mixture that, uh, that's in here. A lot of riders here that come here, sometimes they move too soon because a lot of tracks are shorter than this. And uh, they'll move too soon and, and this is a, it's a long lane. You can wait. You don't have to move here too quick. Yeah. Sunday it would behoove jockeys, so to speak, to be where it's best manicure. But the problem is if everyone's fighting for that space, you can get yourself in traffic trouble. So there are all sorts of factors that's to consider. Right, that's right. If you want video evidence, call up last year's uh, Canadian International and watch the rail open up for Sarah Lynx. Sarah Lynx, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and smoke through the rail. And it really, really does matter. Like it really does. Wind. Wind. You've got a horse, you know, they stand five, five and a half feet high and he's running into the wind and somebody's then tucked in behind. It doesn't matter. Cover matters. A full day to put up the temporary rails after a big race thing. Like I'll take one of these apart and I'll show you. Yeah, the steel peg goes in first. Yeah. It's pounded in by a hammer. Just attached to the back of a tractor. I think we use a laser so that the rail is as straight as possible. Uh, you use a what? A laser. You use a la How do you use a laser? It's hooked up to the tractor and the tractor follows uh, the line that, uh, that the laser is, uh, is uh, making. ever get on the horse the horse yourself to go out and, and, and see what how the course is like and what it needs and what it doesn't or you is it all by foot now it's all by foot now i haven't been on a horse at, at a racetrack here for i don't know when it was the last no time. way it's been a few years really yeah. with your pass you don't get on them anymore no no they may it's pretty difficult to get on a horse you got to have a license to get on you got to have a helmet on a vest on